uh, I imagine in the session we will see how to solve the problems on uh, stepped bars using ANSYS. The given problem is for the bar loaded as shown in figure, determine the nodal displacements, elemental stresses and strains. We are given Young's model as 83 GPA for element 1, for element 2 it is 70 GPA, for element 3 it is 200 GPA and the cross sectional areas for each element is given, for element 1 it is 2400 mm square, for element 2 it is 1200 mm square, for element 3 800 mm square with the span lengths of 800, 600 and 400 mm respectively for element 1, 2 and 3. Mm. Okay. Now we will see how to solve this problem using ANSYS and we are using ANSYS 14.0 and initially we will go to preferences select the type of analysis so we select structural analysis click on ok then go to preprocessor select the element type so element type add so we need to add the element type so click on add select link element for creating uh, parts so now select this link element that will be displayed here then you can close it now element type is defined so since we have three different elements here with uh, three different uh, cross sectional areas we have to go to real constants so add add so the, the link will be created here click on ok now so for element 1 cross sectional area is 2400 mm square so enter the value here 2400 so all the dimensions will be in terms of uh, mm and the load parameters will be in terms of newton click on ok so that set one will be displayed here and uh, since we have three different elements with the key, three different elemental properties change this to set 2 and enter the cross sectional area of element 2 so cross sectional area of element 2 is 1200 mm so we will enter that value here click on apply you can see now it is being defined here similarly change the element number change it to element number 3 and enter the value of uh, cross sectional area for element 3 which is 800 mm square so if you click on ok now all the three elemental properties three different set of real constants are defined here so we'll close it and then you can go to material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropy see for element number one things modulus is 83 gpa so i'll enter the value of 83 gpa so 83 exponential 3 and poisson's ratio by default it will be 0 0.3 so this is for element one and again we need to enter material properties for element two and element three now it, it is a material property for element one Again in order to enter for element 2 and element 3 you go to material, select new model, there let the material id be 2, click on ok. Again structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, so enter element property for material 2 which is 70 GPA, 70 per 3 and Poisson's ratio by default 0 0.3, click on ok. Similarly, enter the material property for material 3, again going to material, new model, material id 3 and the material property is 200 GPA in this modulus, so Poisson ratio 0 0.3, click on ok. Now material properties and real constants are defined for all the three elements. Now close this, go to modeling create so we create using nodes so i will select nodes so in active coordinate system so node number one we have totally four nodes and this stands for x coordinate this stands for y coordinate this stands for z coordinate coordinate of node one is 0 comma 0 both x and y so i will enter 0 comma 0 click on apply node one will be created change this to node number 2 and node number 2 coordinates are length of element 1 is 800 mm so x is 800 y is 0 click on apply you can see now node number 2 is being created here similarly 3 so 
length of element 2 is 600 but we need to take from this reference point so 800 plus 600 is 1400 I'll enter that value apply see node 3 will be created now consider node 4 node 4 length is 400 mm so add this to add 1400 to 400 so it will become 1800 click on ok now all the four nodes are created so once you create a node we need to create element so while creating elements uh, you should remember that uh, since cross-sectional areas are different and uh, material properties Young's modulus is different for each element so we need to go to elements element attributes so now element type element is 1 material number should be 1 real constant set number should be 1 click on ok so in this now go to auto numbered through nodes so we are creating element through nodes select node 1 node 2 click on ok now element 1 is created with the cross sectional area 2400 mm square and uh, Young's modulus 83 GPA now in order to create element 2 again we have to go to element attributes now change the material number to 2 which uh, takes Young's modulus as 70 GPA and real constant set number to 2 which takes cross sectional area as 1200 mm square click on ok again auto number through nodes pick node 2 and node 3 in order to create element 2 similarly we can do it for element 3 so change this to 3 material number to 3 and real constant set number to 3 click on ok again auto number through nodes pick node 3 and node 4 click on ok now elements have been created since we are doing this with uh, nodes we you need not to mesh this you can directly apply loads loads define loads apply structural and go to displacements on nodes because we have created nodes so if we observe the diagram node 1 and node 4 are totally fixed so i'll select node 1 and node 4 at the same time and since it is fixed in all degrees of freedom i'll select all degrees of freedom in order to constrain now i have constrained node 1 and node 4 and the load is acting at the node 2 and node 3 so we need to apply load at node 2 so i'll select force or movement on node select node 2 apply so the load is acting in x direction and it has a value of uh, 60 kilo newton which is compressive so minus 60,000 because uh, all the load parameters will be in terms of newton apply you can see similarly now select node 3 apply again it is 75 kilo newton which is compressive 75,000 okay now the loads are applied you can solve the problem now go to solution solve current ls so now the solution is done in order to view the solution you can go to general post processor so in order to view stress and strain we need to define certain tables so for that we will go to element table define table add so here scroll down you will see by sequence number select by sequence number ls is for generating stress and ls1 will give you stress click on apply similarly select lepl for strain and code used to generate is 1 click on ok now stress and strains are de defined close this and since we need to find out nodal displacements go to list results nodal solution dof solution displacement vector sum so these are the nodal solutions you can see node number one two three four four nodes since node one and node four are totally fixed the displacements at particular node one and node four are zero you can observe and you can get q2 and q3 these are the nodal solutions and if you want to list stresses and strains you can go to element table data here select ls1 and lepe1 this is for stress and this is for strain so this is the value of stress so totally we have three elements so stress on element 1 is minus 23.369 element 2 is 3.2618 
and element 3 is 98.643 all this will be in terms of newton per mm square and strain on element 1 is this one strain on element 2 is this strain on element 3 is this one so you can find out elemental stresses and strains using this for analytical solution kindly refer the link blog link provided thank you mm -hmm.